two, one. Hey, Lumberjacks and Lumberjills. It is Lumberjack project time, and we have lots of choices for you. Uh, all kinds of projects. If you take a look at this document, down the left side, we have the different types of projects. In the middle column, different information that you could share about Lumberjacks. And then finally, the last column would be ways to create and share. So let's take a look at that first project called the diorama. Um, some of you have, may have seen these before or made these before. A diorama is basically creating a scene inside of a box. So you turn a box on its side and you create a scene using all kinds of craft materials and uh, natural materials from outside. So the diorama, oops. And I'm pulling it up here. Okay, here are some examples of the dioramas. Uh, here is a bunkhouse scene. You can see that they've made a stove and hung up uh, the clothing. So they've taken all the things they've read about the bunkhouse and tried to include those in their scene or their diorama. Look at all the different kinds of supplies they've used. And here are their facts that they've written about that. Oh, here's the mess hall scene. Check out, there's a title on there. They built their tables. There's a background. I see a wood stove. All kinds of things uh, that we could learn about the mess hall. And that's what I have for pictures there. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Hartman. So and if you're interested in a diorama, that would be a choice that you could make. Okay, another choice that you could make, boys and girls, is a booklet in the ABCs of Lumberjacks. Uh, or you could be the life of the log. You guys were working on that story today down the river drive, but you could be in the forest and be the log, or you could do a booklet of the Lumberjack uh, jobs. And I have one sample of a booklet type thing. You would be creating it either on Google Slides as an ebook, or you could do a paper booklet. So let me show you an example of a booklet. So here is the ABC alphabet book for lumberjacks. And this student right here said A is for ax. They drew a picture, added a border, and then used this information here. You would be creating that in Google Slides most likely and adding pictures in or drawing your own. And every time I come up, I have to switch where my pictures are. Alrighty, the third one, fourth graders, is a poster. And as you can see, there's a couple different things you can make a poster on, like jobs, tools, or the lumberjack camps itself. For this one, you have two options. If you wanted to create it on paper and then take a picture, you could email it to your teacher. Or if you wanted to make one, on a Google slide and add in some cool text and pictures and little um, definitions and blurbs about your pictures, that would be awesome too. Okay, so here is looking. some picture samples from the past. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, they have a nice big title right at the top. They've got lots of different facts that I can see. And then they've got two really nice pictures. So this would be something that you could totally do in Google Slides or like we said, make it on paper and take a picture for us. Oops, let me go back the other way. <laughs> and then looking at this one too, you can see that this one is on Lumberjack Tools. It's very clearly labeled. They have nice pictures of all of the tools. And I can see that they have a little definition or what the tools were used for by the Lumberjacks next to all their pictures. The next one is a video skit, um, thinking about the life of a lumberjack. Um, this one we don't have any samples of. This is something that you and your family could do. You could dress up as lumberjacks and create a scene, go outside in the woods if you really want to get adventurous, and video record it on a phone and share it to your teacher's email. Or if it's too big to share to email, just um, send it through Google Drive. We can work with you on however that 
would be, this would be new. We'd be very excited to see some of your creative ideas if you want to create a video skit and act out some of the things that a lumberjack might do out in the woods. Okay, next we have another new project idea for this year. Make a meal or a lumberjack recipe. And what you would need to do is have information about your menu, your recipe, um, maybe information about the mess hall, who was in charge, who helped, how did they do their jobs, things like that. And you could send those pictures to your teacher in an email, or you might even want to make a little video clip. If you make a whole meal for your family, then you could share that with us too. Mrs. Esser, wouldn't it be fun for the kids to dress up in a flannel while they eat their meal too? Mm -hmm. And they might even want to put on an apron. They, If they can make a chef's hat, they could do that. Mm -hmm. um, I just think there are so many creative ways they could, they could do this new project. I like it. And our final choice for a project is to make a model. For those of you who like to build and do crafts, you could create a tool that a lumberjack would use. Maybe it would be out of cardboard, um, Here's a paper, sample. Uh -oh. aluminum foil. There Here's is all kinds of ideas. We, we, yeah, there's a sample. We are not quite seeing it for Mrs. Esser, oh, but that that's... was a sample her son made out of cardboard. And he has a crosscut saw that he made there. And these tools, you could use a variety of craft supplies, um, Legos, connects, et cetera, uh, craft supplies. Uh, and then, of course, you'd want to take a picture. You might want to dress up as a lumberjack with your model tool and share that with your teacher. All right. So, boys and girls, I think today in social studies, you are going to be thinking about what project you want to do. And there's going to be a Google form that you need to complete to, uh, to tell your teachers and communicate with your teachers where you are going with this. And we look very forward to seeing your creative brains going and your project building or whatever you choose to do with this. Have fun with it. Be creative.